What's going on guys, it's Filmington. Checked the news about an hour ago and we had another massive drop in the stock market. All three major domestic indices, the S&P, Dow, and the NASDAQ were down between eight to nine percent. It came back a little bit as the Fed tried to make a move to inject some liquidity into the economy, but that was sort of like a sword slashing into an ocean in regards to how effective it was. The coronavirus is something that a lot of people are panicking about. They might be right or they might not be right. There's just a lot of uncertainty right now. That's part of the issue. But other countries like China and South Korea have been able to institute some measures to contain the virus a little bit better than what the United States is politically or culturally capable of, which I get that. But you still have bipartisan leadership that isn't coming together in a time of need when we're trying to restore faith into the economy, into the stock market, creating a stimulus package that will stave off some of this supply and demand shock. So supply is affected because small and large businesses can't get the raw materials they need to operate. Demand is affected, of course. I mean, look outside, go to an airport, <laughs> go to a restaurant right now. The service industry, the airline sector in itself, I think is responsible for a 5% decrease in the GDP of this country already. Pretty crazy. If you want to go a little bit further, there's probably an issue with personal debt accumulation in this country. Because interest, interest rates have been low for so long, businesses are overly levered. So in a time where people need cash, need liquidity, it's just not there. This is something that's going to affect all of us. We're all going to know somebody that is affected by this more than ourselves. There's going to be layoffs. There's already been layoffs. And, you know, looking forward, it's just hard to to buy a stock right now because when you're making a, a buy or a sell decision on a stock, usually you want a gauge on the price to earnings ratio to understand if it's undervalued. The issue is the E in that ratio, the earnings, is unknowable right now. We don't know the impact that the coronavirus is going to have on earnings this year and forecasts one to three years forward. We know that the impact is negative. This is a broad-based market slowdown that's affecting the entire world. But it's this is certainly something that affects not just rich people, not just poor people, the middle class as well. You have more affluent people, their businesses are affected. They have more financial assets that are taking a tumble. Middle class and poor people have jobs that require them to commute or to interact with people. Look at the service industry. Now, the impact of all of this on the hobby. And this is a video I was going to make before I found out that the Major League Baseball season was suspended indefinitely and that could impact the, um, well, I guess baseball operations were suspended. That might impact the start of the season when that happens. I knew it was probably going to happen once we saw with what happened with the NBA and, of course, the NHL was shortly followed this morning. Um, 1994, the MLB player strike. Most people would argue that the crash was going to happen regardless because of oversupply, saturated markets. So it's difficult to understand the shock or the effect that the MLB player strike would have had on the card market, I guess, in itself. It's difficult to isolate that. But these are my thoughts on the baseball season being suspended. It's not good. It's not a good thing. It shouldn't be treated as an off season would to be treated where players just aren't playing. Think about Ronald Acuna, 40-40 season, 
It's not going to happen this year. Think about all the minor league prospects that would be getting seasoned right now that might not be getting the playing time they need, but they're getting older. Think about all of the potential star players that aren't filling up the stat columns because they're not playing. That's not good. Think about all the people freaking out in the hobby that have a need for disposable income and liquidity and cash and can't get it right now. That maybe wanted to purchase a house with certain funds that aren't there anymore. This is all going to cause for at least for the short term, before this gets resolved or gets better with the coronavirus and or with the stock market itself, this is going to cause more sellers than buyers in the market. This is going to cause a buyer's market where stuff's gonna fall in price naturally. I don't know what part of the market happens first. And by the way, I'm talking about mostly modern baseball cards here. So by when I say what part of the market, I mean the high end stuff versus the low end stuff. You could argue that over the last two or three weeks, there really wasn't much of an impact to the hobby yet, although the stock market was going down. I would say that things really started to get bad this week. The probability of a global recession increased actually exponentially this past Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and now today. So if you haven't seen the impact yet, then keep watching, you'll see it. I'm noticing more and more listings on eBay. Now, as somebody that owns a lot of cards, I might not sell that much, to be honest, right now. And the reason for that is there's risk in selling right now. You have people that are probably buying on eBay, and if the price drops another 20, 30% from today's prices, okay, well, I didn't buy at the bottom, but you know, at least I don't have any risk because I can just return this. So I'm a little afraid of eBay returns right now. And trust me, I picked up a ton of stuff over the last few months. A ton of stuff. And I wish I could sell it right now at 90% of what I paid. A lot of the stuff. Maybe not all of it, but a lot of it. I would. You know, split second reaction, I'll do it. But I'm not that type of person. I'm not going to abuse the eBay policy myself. So don't be that person yourself either. That's not good. That's not going to be good for this hobby either. If I thought that today's or next week's prices were the bottoms in regards to the hobby, sure, I would try to take advantage of it. I don't personally think next week's prices will be the bottom. I think we're going to see further bottoms after that. But if you feel that way, sure. You know what? And I'm just one opinion too. Who knows? Maybe there won't even be a big impact like I think. I've always thought that baseball cards, especially the modern cards, are less of an alternative asset, but more of like a luxury type asset that is correlated with the stock market. When people have more money to spend, they go up. When people have less money to spend, more money gets of that gets more of that gets spent on consumer staples, less of it gets spent on luxury items, big screen TVs, snowmobiles, and baseball cards, modern baseball cards. So we'll see if that, that sticks, but this has been extremely disruptive to me. It's, it's going to be disruptive to all of the buyers and sellers that you see on those Facebook groups on eBay as well. So be smart, guys. Be smart. But at the end of the day, the hobby's not going anywhere. Filming it out.